Yenge, kembo kembo na tata nzambi ya mazulu kimfumo kya kuisa. Nzambi mawesha, nzambi akubenisha. I'm going to say oksikameni, lusiemi. I'm also going to say to you kukwisa yambote. Welcome, welcome. Kukwisa, kukwisa, I don't know how to say this word right. Kukwisa yambote. All the Banabetu scattered across the earth for all the non Banabetu for the non Bakongo. Welcome to the Bantu, Conquista Yambote, to the Bantu Banduela, Bandue, Baklistu. We come humbly once again before Tatanzani once again on this beautiful Sambuari. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be a message. That I hope that the Tanzani will watch and protect over. We're going to go deeper and the deepest I've ever gone into how the devil has deceived the whole world because this is going to bring perspective as to what's going to happen over the next few years. Um, I've spoken about these things. We've all spoken about these things. I saw there was a revelation to the Tokwis youth. We're going to get into that as well. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you something that will help strengthen your relationship with the Maliki Congo. Trust me, I know this is something that I have to deal with every day. Um, strengthen your relationship with Tatanzambi and Pungu and begin to really uh, help discern the people who were, res who were responsible for the breakup and why Black or specifically Bantu Black unity, Bakongo unity is always a problem to the establishment, has been in a problem since the days of Noka has been a problem since uh, the the flood, which is why I'm going to talk about the knowledge, the forbidden knowledge today of what the world is operating on. And then I'm going to talk about the real knowledge that we should have, because this is what they don't want to take place. But this is also what they're always trying to steal. But anyway, I give all praises, Kimber to the Zombie. I'm gonna play the song to get started. If you can't hear it, I'll try to post it. It's a it's a song that we're very familiar with that I played in the past, and other people have played it. And um, I know people have been uh, interacting with me. There are people who, and I understand your frustration of these times because this is exactly what they're gonna be continuing to push. And you know, once again, I heard a video about more lies, about where diseases come from. You know, many of these doctors and nurses, not all of them are your enemy, but at the same time, not all of them are your friend, especially the ones that come at the higher levels because of the agenda that's been in place since 16, 19, and before. You know, so um, people don't really know what happened in the 1920s because many people are dead <laughs> already. They probably gotten stuff handed down from stories from grandma and grandpa. I'm going to talk about why they want to call people crazy, where this comes from, because um, when you find out, you know, everything is owned by the establishment of those who were trying to keep the truth from being revealed. That's why when the time of truth, this is how you knew the world of it was coming to an end, because in the end, it's when the Mwanda Velala, it's like the Mwanda Velala is like truth serum. It's a, it's like you're, the truth is going to come out about a lot of many things. That's why when the spirit is now being poured out among all flesh, you're seeing more and more revelations of the truth until the Wizard of Oz, as he's called in secret, loses his power and all of his uh, strong delusions will come to an end. And that's why they said, prepare for this, prepare for that, prepare for this. What you're seeing now is what was always there, but was not in your sight. And so as the matrix of him starts to be broken down, 
you will now see what has been hidden from you in plain sight of the lies they keep telling you until when he becomes bound, okay, then that's when the shift of the change comes when we say, you shall not all sleep, but the true understanding of we shall not all sleep, but be changed. Uh, this is what um, Maya Mona spoke about. I'm going to give a message that comes from the Maya Mona today. Uh, this was given to me months and months ago, which is why a lot of people, you know, they want to say what they want to say. I don't, it's, it's not a big deal to me. But um, the one thing that I've learned is not everybody is who they say they are because of Tatan Zambi putting strong delusions on people about things they chose to believe. Now, that doesn't mean he can't use people to send out messages. He can't use people to send out truth. He can't, like our elder Mello said, truth is truth no matter who says it. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're, talk they're talking coming from Zambi and Pum. Okay. And that's where the Mwanda Velila, you have to learn how to discern the difference between the real Holy Spirit and the fake one. Because, see, the devil has always had this knowledge from the beginning of the things that he has altered so that you don't know the truth. And the Tatanzami has taken away the knowledge. We're relearning the Most High's knowledge, and there are many people who have a lot more knowledge than others. But at the same time, you do not want to make the same mistakes as our forefathers. Even though they were righteous, they still made mistakes. You don't want to make, you don't, it's like they always say, you want to learn from your mistakes, not repeat them. And this is one of the things that's going to be discussed today. So just one moment, we'll give our praises to Tatan Zambi and we'll get started. Mikaeli Makaya. We're going to talk about him today quite a bit because he was sent to watch over us when we were dispersed. So I'm Christina. Thank 
The one in the survival one, Tusinda. My Tusinda, they're chosen. Children of the promise. We always come in, and we learn this always. You come into the presence of the Most High with singing and praise, which is what, what they took. They took that from us. The Bakungu, the Benan Zambi, the Banabit, the Bena Isolini. Go over a song that they they took from us, right? But they changed it. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. And you know, this is gonna be the the what they did in the transition because it's it's praising zombie, yimbila, yimbila and zombie. Praise yimbila. Okay. Our praises, Monakumba say, Imwana. I'm saying uh, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Seven, which people think that because of the paganism that it comes from Egypt, when it really it does not. It was stolen from many people to understand beforehand, meaning that the false messiah stole things before the real messiah came to fake the people out. Okay. So we're going to talk about this. There's only Pungu Father Matonda Masakila for us to come before you once again. But then, Zombie, this is Trey Mesolaka, Solele Bailey. Coming humbly before your throne, Tata. Bow the Kolele for any zones against thee. And Zami Mawesha and Zambi Akabenisha and Zami Akubanene and Zakulu Kulu. Kwatu Lendo, Tatan Zami Modimo. We come humbly once again for another day of to reveal the, the secrets of the Pema Kalunga, the Zami Kalunga. 
we come out with once again, Captain Zombie, the God of creation, the heaven and earth. We want to honor you today, Captain Zombie, because you gave us another opportunity to do the righteous path, to come away from the wicked. As the devil continues to rage, Captain Zombie, you know his strength is growing because he knows his time is short. We ask you, Captain Zombie, for the Maliki Makongo to come and assist us in all things. Captain Zombie, help us in this message that it will not be removed, that the revelation will come clean, that we will take down the Wizard of Oz, Captain Zombie, and do the best of our ability to expose him. Nakombia Bene Yave Congo, and get Hallelujah. We give honor to Kosto Congo Isaiah, Isu, Isu Christu. Jesus Christos, as we said, is not the real Messiah. They've been lying about that. We want to give honor to Mwanda Velala, the set apart spirit, the real Holy Spirit, not the apostle spirit. We give honor to the to the righteous in the Pema Kalunga, the, the, the minor Yahweh Kongos, to all of the righteous judges, Yenge Pemba Kalunga. We give honor to the Maliki Congo, Asalama Maliki Congo. Specifically today, we honor Mikaeli and all that he's endured in this time since our departure from Congo. We honor you, Makayan Zambi, Kimba, hallelujah. We honor you, all of the righteous of, of elders, down to Isolele, down to Adama, Abana, and Saka, and Yakubi. We honor Nsemu, who had to endure the loss of his children to Nimrod and all the deceivers. We honor today all of those who continue to fight the good fight for the Banabetu to be restored. Manakumba say, Imwana. Imwana Vebana was to be said to Saku Panzman Zenga. Okay. All of you that are doing the most high's work, we come humbly before you once again. We we'll honor you. We bring uh, Salama peace to you. This is a message as we come. We're here at our, and this is where you know it's a Kikongo word, our Mesa Kimenga, the altar, a day of remembrance and prayer to Tutan Zambi. We're going to do some prayers today. However, before we go, we want to call the Mwanda down, the Mwanda Velila. That's what we were doing here, calling the Mwanda. Mwanda Velila, we got to come humbly before us to restore and bring our knowledge and wisdom. Because we are going to discuss the reason for why we are where we are today. We are coming to the conclusion of the time of Noka. We are coming to the conclusion of the fallen ones. What you are not aware of is they disguised it so that it wouldn't be recognized by the people it was intended for. Because we know in the second book of Ezra, it talks about he made this world for a few, for many, but the next world for a few. So I'm going to pull that up. Remember. It's uh, second Ezra's eight and one. Most High made this world for many, but the world to come for a few. So the deceivers have turned this into their intent understanding. We're going to talk about the strong delusions of Tatan Zombie. Because this is how the, what we call the Wizard of Oz he operates under. Now that we know, many of you know the secrets about this particular movie. That the, the Wizard of Oz is about Satan, the dragon, the one who brings the puff, the magic, the spells, the, the Pinocchio spells is where you, you also talk about this. 
For the Most High, see it says the Most High, that's Yakum, Yahweh, has made this world in total for many, but the world, but the in total to come for few. So, um, what we're coming to now is what they've been hiding from people is the Most High allowed the earth to be filled with all of these inhabitants knowing that eventually he would have a remnant now of course spiritually in his kingdom there will still be quite a few many people as Tokwa said but they will live in different levels because there's going to be still um, you know a new heaven new earth restoration process and so the kingdom of Zulu will come down and we will see uh, many things begin to change. The world will not be the way it is today because even as the wicked plan their attempt to finish off Tekken Zombie, they don't understand that the strong delusions apply to them as well. And that's what King Congo is going to eventually remove even from them how deceived they are in their thinking and how deceived the world is and what they think they know. My encounter with Kuswa Congo Yisu um, allowed me to get clarity about a great many things. Now people can say what I saw and I know you can say what you want to say, but what I will tell you is the earth is not what people think it is that I do know is a guy who actually talked about you. The, the earth itself operates like a computer and there's many portals that people don't understand that they're hidden the sun and the moon and everything. Hanukkah talked about the portals as the as they travel. Okay. Stargates are a part of this concept. They kept this away from the sheeple because what you have to understand is they didn't want the real power of the Holy Spirit's manifestation to be known. The forbidden knowledge that came down to the seed of Cain was in the form of a cube. Okay, you've heard, you've probably seen Black Rock, you've probably seen the cobblestone, all these other things that uh, was given to, the fallen ones gave to the seed of Cain to be able to manifest knowledge. You know, in the book of Hanok, it talks about how so many fallen watchers taught different things. They taught this, they taught various things, and we can talk about it. And it became what was called forbidden knowledge, which resulted in the tainting or modification or alteration of the creator's creation, which he was very upset about. Because even at that point, he had turned the earth over to the hands of the wicked, which is why uh, many things became corrupted. And at that time, he sent Hanoka to judge the wicked ones for what they had done against his creation, which is why he was created as a righteous scribe, a righteous judge. And then, of course, he taught his sons like Methuselah to go out and to undo or try their best to save those who had been mixed with the seed of Cain, because they were more than just the seed of Seth, uh, Adama and Tata Adama and Tata Ewa had other children. And the seed of Cain had done exactly what they did is because of the anger for the curse against Cain, that seed became bitter and they started to do uh, interactions. And then you had the, the, the children that came from Adama through the, um, through the spiritual interactions with, um, Lilith and him, because like we talked about in a, in a, in a teaching we had and, and somebody I was a part of, you know, we've been a part of 
um, that talked about the spiritual children that can be created. And these are the children of light, as they call the light, children of light that are talked about in the apocalypse of Adama that were able to manifest themselves in the form of men. But then when the curses of the reptile curse fell upon them, they begin to become like shapeshifter and beings. And the people call them alien because they were given the ability to have the knowledge to do flight in different ways. And it was given to them by their by the fallen angels, the forbidden knowledge, which was then passed down to men to learn how to do things that the most high, the secrets of the heaven that the most high never intended. So what he wanted the children of Seth to do was remain into the knowledge that he gave to us to walk the righteous path. Well, now you're living in the repeat, okay? The repeat of that time occurred because of the flood. The agenda was to keep the fulfillment of the Most High's law from happening and was also designed to keep the Most High from finishing his work of the new heavens and the new earth that would come because of the many things that would happen, okay? So, of course, this is what they talk about past the mantle is where this comes from. The mantle is now yours to lead us into the finishing was the Maliki Shaitani ordained a bloodline that would pass the mantle that would pass the mantle to finish the work of what the devil had always intended to do to stop the most high to enter to keep him from the the fulfillment so as we talked about in the past everything became what was called hijacked so through satan's lying signs and wonders which is really what the Wizard of Oz is, he was able to keep the earth from knowing the full truth by continuing to peddle lies within the truth, okay? That's one of the reasons why when you look at what happens with Christianity, they think that the devil just lies all the time because of how it's been taught, and that's not true. He still tells some truth so that you will believe his lies. Now, the truth is not in him, meaning that when they say the truth is not in him, it means he is no longer a Congo. Congo means truth or kingdom. The kingdom of the Most High is no longer in him or the fallen ones that, that came down and deserted their posts. Okay? So the kingdom of Congo is no longer in him. Okay? The Tanzambi, God, the creator, okay, the ones that are chosen or the ones that he, that, that the ones that he will choose or continue to choose or the, the wheat will be the people who have the truth in them, okay? Now, what people don't understand is even when you have the truth, you can still make mistakes. And that's the reason why you have to maintain the understanding that the one who never made a mistake against the Most High is the door. Okay? Now, one of the biggest problems 
that has shown in the scriptures, and it happened to King Solo, it happened to David and, and Tino Solomon, and many others. They have when Tatanzambi chooses to no longer you, your heart turns away from him, or he has decided that he is now no longer putting you in he's called you to go lower meaning that he is no longer using you as the messenger for his people or the umbasi that's when people start to get angry and they want to do things to harm the most high which is to hurt him for what the, that's what you call it goes to yoel three I'm going to pull it up. And this is something that we always have to pray for. Okay. For behold in those days and in that time, there's a, this, is, this is what the, the doomsday clock is talking about. And behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Yawunde and Solomon, Jerusalem, I shall also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with, with them there for my people, for my heritage is so that they, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. That's the Congo conference. And they have cast lots for my people and I given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Yea, what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Sidon? Now, um, these nations still exist in a different name. And all the coast of Palestine, which included a lot of Africa, will you render me a recompense? If you recompense me swiftly and speedily, I will return the recompense upon your own head. Okay, so this is when we talk about that the zombie is going to have a swift and speedily recompense upon all of those who have chose to recompense him because they chose to trick the Bantu people, the Benan zombie, the Benan Isolide, with Shaitani's lying signs and wonders. They themselves, their own people did not know that their leaders were doing this because of the of the of the families that were chosen for this process. Because see, what Tatanzambi has said to us is when we go into a captivity, they wanted to make sure that this time we didn't recognize it. They also wanted to make sure that this time we would never want to leave it. And they also wanted to make sure at this time we wouldn't even know we were in one. Okay. By first being harsh and then turn around and being nice. Okay. This is the transition phase of the last 120 plus years and the modification of the knowledge. So when we go to um, see, it says here, because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried it into your temples, my goodly, my good, my goodly pleasant things, the children of Yisrael of Yaounde and the children of Yisrael have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye might remove them far from their border. Okay, so the Greco-Roman Empire, so Rome came out of Greece. They don't want to talk about this history, but this is, they're connected, okay? This is why the religions of this term, of this time, come everything out of the Greeks, okay? That's why you have the Greek fraternities. You have the Greek Orthodox. You have the Greek everything that then became the Roman, okay? 
the Roman Empire never was dissolved. It changed. It morphed through the knowledge, forbidden knowledge that was then taken from the Bantu people, the Bananzambi, and converted into theology, the study of religion. Now, what many pastors are now doing when it comes to religion is they're learning the rituals of what was done. They're learning, they're taking the knowledge of the incorporation of the paganism with the real truth and they're teaching it as truth. Okay, which is what they're calling the theology, which is all theology is, is the study of religion, which goes all the way back to the days of Noka, because they had religion then. It's not, it didn't just come from Nimrod. Nimrod adopted the beliefs of Cain and the gods. Okay. So now, his knowledge that he taught in Babylon was the cube knowledge. And then of course, out of that also comes the tablets that they talk about because there's the tablets of the most high of his righteous word. And then there's the tablets of the devil and his things and what the tablets of destiny come from that they talk about comes from Hanok and the way he taught the kings of the earth to become peaceful so he was a Solomon he was a king of peace okay well they don't want the world to understand that this is what took place with Intino Solomon however his heart was turned so Kuswa Congo was necessary to come to fulfill the law of the prophets and the Nabis and reteach the way that his grandfather messed up, okay? That came from Abana and Saka Yakubi, and also that came from what was messed up before the flood after uh, Hanukkah restored the peace, the devil came and messed it up again. So you're doing again the repeat. The problem was, okay, our people had already become destroyed for a lack of knowledge, not faith, because of the forbidden knowledge that was being taught through the rabbinical converts, what they call the Talmud, okay? They were taking the Torah and mixing it with the Tula, which is why he said, you teach the children to break the Most High's law with your traditions, okay? And then he saw how when the temple was being used, he said, you are benefiting from the children. My father's house is a house of prayer. Now, that temple has been destroyed. This is why Christianity's churches, then it says the Most High does not dwell within houses built with wood and stone. This is the whole concept of when Rome would then take this process and modify it through the forbidden knowledge going forward. Okay? Now, we're going to honor Michaela in this. Makayan Zombie, Michaeli, Michael the Archangel, as we know, he tossed the devil out of the out of heaven. Okay. He will also be involved with this next phase. Okay. He was the one that Tatan Zombie sent to keep watch when we would go into captivity over the chosen people. 
And he's always the one that the devil likes to mock in image and, of course, in movies and stuff like that. Even the McDonald's arcs, okay, if people don't understand that's a mockery. He always takes the opportunity to mock this archangel because he cast him out of heaven. And so when the world was turned over to the hands of the wicked, he's mocking him all the time as he's watching over us and he called and he cried and he's frustrated because he sees that we broke the covenant that was set in place in the kingdom of Congo in the 1200 BC AD. Okay. All because they argued about the priesthood, which made no sense because they still don't want to acknowledge Kuso Congo is the door. See, you, you think that the, um, the Ju Ju Judaism wasn't something that came from Esau. Judaism came from what happened with Intino Solomon. There were priests that started to learn the forbidden knowledge because of what happened when Intino Solomon turned his heart away from the Most High. This is why when I talked about it in the scripture with Kepa, where he says there were false teachers among us before and after, okay? This is what divided the kingdom of Congo because Shaitani has always said it. We know his war was with Adama, which then became the war with the Most High and his creation. His war then became about stopping the kingdom of Congo from returning when Kuswa Congo said, this is not my kingdom, but to rule. So then, they, of course, they have mocked him as the cowardly lion, the one who ran away from daddy, and then we killed daddy. When he meant spirits, it was a, a symbol. Uh, uh, the Lion King was a spiritual killing. Okay. We erased the knowledge of your daddy to his people 500 years ago. And that's what happened when he said, I turn you over to the heathen in Hosea chapter 2, is what it, basically what he was saying. Your lovers, they, they took out in the translation of the Kikongo, it's like, I'm turning you over to the heathens, because these are your lovers. You would rather, and, 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 and the other, and the false gods, the ones who are teaching the forbidden knowledge to their people, Okay. You're taking what I give to you and you're handing it over to them and that is lowering your relationship with Nzambi and Pungu. Okay? Now we're fighting to get it back is what we're doing now. However, like I have said this so many times, the fallen ones had the foresight and their countdown to when this would happen. So of course, their job was to do everything possible to run the interference with anybody who is coming to fix the problem. Okay? Including keeping you frustrated. Because I know I am. And many of us are. Okay? That's why the FBI was saying in the 1960s, the biggest threat to us is black unity. But he didn't go so far as to say what kind of black unity. Okay? Because like I said, not all black people are the same. The Egyptians are not the same as us. They got scattered too. The Kushites are not the same as us. They got scattered too. Um, other groups got scattered. There were black people in Asia. They got scattered. Okay, People understand there were black people everywhere and they all have gotten scattered. They did the race concept to hide lineage. Okay? Because like I told you, Esau knows he was a Bakongo. He don't want the world to know. No, it's everybody who comes from the Bakongo. That's the issue I have with my brother. Yakubi and Simba, okay? So what he has done 
is to manipulate what people think about his brother. Okay? Through the forbidden knowledge that comes from the cube that was given to them by the fallen angels on Mount Sioni. So they pass in the mantle down the lineages of the knowledge that was given that way that they weren't supposed to have. That they have taught to the world that you're not supposed to know because it actually changes your frequency. This is what makes you like them. Okay. Congo's knowledge, Tatanzambi's knowledge makes your frequency different than them. Okay. That's the reason why you now have the disparities in wealth among the world with all the excuses. Okay? Because what they're not telling you is they did this, this scripture 500 years ago. They have done it before. We have been turned over to the Grecians again. But they did it through this theft of the of the Tula, of the Nkanda. For the family, the Makanda, the, the Kanda or the Tula is the Most High's instructions to his people. Okay? One of the deceptions that they made people think is the replacement of the people of the Nkanda or the Tula which is not possible. It was just the Most High was angry because once again, we went to Balaam and Beor, which is what the Roman Catholic Church really was in secret. They go the way of Cain. That's why they're killing people in the name of Jesus. Go to, I'm going to go to the book of the Duke of Yud, Yaunde, uh, Yud, Jude, okay? We talk about the three frogs. Every religion is Moloch. They're just not going to tell you that. The fallen brother. Because Malachi Kongo, Moloch, Malachi, means brothers. That's why they came up with the movie Band of Brothers, Mpangi. That's why you want to be Mpangi. Now it says here in the book of Jude, you know, Jude it says, um, Verse seven, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities among them like and the cities about and the cities about them in like manner. See, they have you so locked in to just these two cities that you don't understand that other civilizations were practicing the similar things. Because it all came from the rituals of the fallen angels to receive the knowledge because you have to understand to receive knowledge has always been you have to do something for it the angels who are fallen they set the rules on how you receive the, the knowledge from them Tatan Zambi he set the rules on how you receive the knowledge from him Okay, but his rules came first. They're doing a mockery and everything about them is the filthy side. This is why they do a wicked, many wicked things you don't even know for these people to get the knowledge. Because we lost our knowledge, we must now do the wicked things to get knowledge. But see, in the schools and everything about that, that they're not teaching their teachers they're not telling the teachers, you're teaching the forbidden knowledge of the days of the fallen ones. This is why Bantu people are having a problem in the schools. And we're, we're rebuking because we're like, we're not stupid. This knowledge is not ours. Okay. But they have forced us to take it so that we can succeed in a system that they manufactured. And they've made it to where. 
Your life depends on your successes in the forbidden knowledge in order to achieve what you want to succeed in life, which is the American dream, which is actually satanic, okay? But they're not going to tell you that because the wolves in sheep's clothing are not going to tell you they're devouring the sheep because this is what they feed off of. They have to eat, okay? Because they are dead. So that's why for Banabetu, for Bakongo people, they needed us to reject our ancestry for theirs. Because then that gives the power to the wizard to do his lying signs and wonders for them. Hopefully you're with me so far on this one. Because this is going to go deep. The Emerald City... Okay, I'm going to tell you guys like this. Jesus Christos and Santa Claus are the same. The Easter Bunny and the um, resurrection of Christ are the same. And I'm going to tell you, explain how that, what I mean. Okay? Kuswa Congo, the Ipaseka, the Passover of the Muntu happened months ago. This is where you're going to get your April Fool from. Now, of course, because of the changes, the, mo the most High knows, uh, you are, because you are in Babylon, because you are in Egypt, you are celebrating these festivals that come from them. Okay? That they have merged with Bantu truth. Okay? Kusra Kongo was born around September or so, October. And that's when the Paseka was because everything, like I told you, went according to the Southern Hemisphere and not the Northern Puff the Magic Dragon Spell Hemisphere. Okay? When we talk about the wizard, his role was to create what you believe to be true so when you think it when you believe it when you go into this mindset of when they tell you something okay I believe it that becomes your reality and it shows up in the spirit world and then it manifests itself in the physical this is the reason why they wanted Bantu people to be separated from their spirituality because you would see through the wizard's Deception. You wouldn't be like, hey, this ain't no, this ain't right. Okay. That's why people who could became a threat. Because Kuswa Kong was like, that's why he said, those who have eyes to see, what he was showing his people when he came is you are under the spell of the wizard. From the time he put uh in Tino Solomon under the spell of the wizard. Okay? The, the, you are believing everything in the carnal aspect of the law, which you can never fulfill because you have to be in the spirit. And the only way to be in the spirit is to be with Tatanzambi in spirit and in truth, which is what he talks about in Ioane John 4.22. The whole concept of theology was created so you were in obedience to Rome. This is why they had the issue when they fought after the first century about who had who was teaching what. And they started to make the changes to the interpretation of the stories, which is where Second Timothy comes into play when he says you will start to learn stories, and fables, okay? The problem with the Europeans who were colonizing the world is they were already in the fables. They were already in the false stories. That's why they brought the, more, the, 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 the people who were dumbed down into the colonies to be used to create the deception. 
with, by giving them the forbidden knowledge and erasing the stuff that they had already been telling that they had hidden from people. You know, when I was finding out the truth about Columbus, I said, well, that makes more sense. Why he would be doing what he did? Because he wasn't a white guy. He was like a Muntu who became a Catholic because he was doing the Bakongo way, which they didn't like us doing in, in Europe. And they taught us to, that's when the Spanish Inquisition started to challenge everything. Okay, and then of course you have the Ashkenazi Jews and everything going on with that. Okay. You see, the problem was, and this is what the devil always does, the Medici family, they thought they were not doing the most high's way either, but they said, Well, we're not like the Khazars. We're not, but see, the most high says, No, you're on the same side. You think that you are, but you aren't, but you are. They've always done this. So you Italians and these people are doing the same thing, just a different way, okay? Because they took what we did and, 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 uh, and modified it to fit them. That's why they copy many things that we do with the, with the uh, incense and everything, the altar, the way they set things up, the candle, but they are doing the wrong spirit. I talked about the spirit of Sophia. That's the false messiah spirit. This is the sister of Lilith, Lilith uh, or the ch child's sister, because they're sisters in spirit, but it's not, you know, they're related. Okay, and they stole the symbolism of the Mwanda. Okay. Because the concept was for her to convince humanity to be her husband, which is where you get the ball really, where you say the devil really is a woman, okay? And the ball concept. Because of the lies that these spirits tell you, you will believe what they say when you're under the spell of control. You're under hypnosis. I talked about this. The biggest danger to the system is when you come out of the hypnosis and you stop doing the Pinocchio spells. That's when they got to go back and they got to get stronger spells and they got to go do, you know, you break out of it. Okay, we got to fix that. Okay. Let's talk about it here. And um, because, you know, like I said, there's angels for everything. They just made you think otherwise. See, when you watch television, it's a, it's a squire mirror. Okay? This is the Gospel of Yaounde, or Judas Iscariot, which they claim it was written. And it tells you the intent. He talks about another generation, okay, that would come to where the, the Most High would rule over them in this book. Not the Malakis anymore, but the Most High, because we would be, become above the Malaki Congo. That's why. And then he talks about how um, this is what happened that they saw in a vision about what the Romans were doing in secret that this is why they didn't put this out there. And of course they have parts of the rest of it found, but they don't want to tell you they took it out because they knew that they were the antichrist or the anti Messiah because the antichrist is really being anti Nimrod because he was Helios crystals. So they laugh about that. But the Messiah, anti-Messiah means anti-Chiluba, anti kuswa Congo, anti-Yisu, is that they were going to use our living belief to worship the dead and use the Wizard of Oz spirits to convince you that you're doing it right. This is why you can't tell people 
because we we gave what was righteous and holy unto the dogs and pigs, and they trampled us underfoot. We, the, the salt lost the flavor, and now they have been convinced that they are now the replacement because they're under this delusion. Okay, because the the problem is, and I'm not, I want I'm going to entitle this video. I don't worship the God that I was brought to. I worship the God who sent me to the God of those who took me captive, which is the real one. That's what they're hiding. See, wherever you have been scattered, you have worshiped that God, which is really the same as what they pushed around the earth. It's still Nimrod in a different way, okay, by different names. That's what they did to restore his kingdom that was taken from him, from Tatan Zambi, which was also taken from Cain, okay? We are living the recompense of Yoli, of Yol, against Tatan Zambi. As I told people, this is the recompense. They stole the heart of King Congo, and they're mocking him all day long. But the world doesn't know that. Okay? So he says, another day, Kuso Congo came up and said to them, Master, have we have... We've seen you in a dream because we had a great dream last night. But Kuso said, why, why hidden yourself? And he said, we saw a great house and a great altar and in it 12 people. And we'd say they were priests. Do you want to know what house they're talking about? The Vatican. That's why they don't put this in the Bible. This is the Vatican. Vaticano. Where they used to sacrifice to Jupiter. Okay. And he said there are priests in name and, and the crowd of people were waiting at the altar and the priests finished the offerings we kept waiting too. What, are they, what were they like? And they said two weeks after I sacrificed their own children, others their wives praising and humming themselves among each other, others sleep with men, others murderers. Okay, now remember confession. What are you going to do? This is part of what they're talking about. Others, yet others commit many sins and do criminal things, and the people stand in the altar invoke your name. And in all this sacrificing, they fill the altar with their offerings. When they said this, they fell silent because they were troubled. So what they were witnessing, okay, is what Rome did. Is they turned the living Messiah into the dead God, okay? And they saw all of the filth that was going on with the Roman Empire at the time where people were doing abominations to one another, just like what it talks about in Jude, and Jude, like Sodom and Gomorrah, okay? Then they were coming to confession to forgive sins and offerings, but to whom? This is the problem. This is why Tatan Zambi said, we had no, Christ the, the Catholic Church, we didn't need them, they needed us, and they tricked us, because this is what they were doing. This is why they don't want to talk about this. This is what the Eucharist is really about. And Kusakoma said, why are you troubled? Chula, I say to you, all the priests standing before the altar, invoke my name. And again, I say to you, my name has been written in the house of the generation of the stars. See, in order to know the Messiah, the, the real, the most high's way, you have to be with the Maleki Congo. The stars are what? This, we talked about this. There's the Real righteous stars, and then there's the fallen stars. We, Banabetu, Bakongo, black people, are now the fallen stars 
because we turned away from the other stars. So now we became like the fallen stars of Satan. And that is now why the world doesn't know that they have been deceived. So they have created all manner of things, as the scriptures talk about, to keep you blinded to the truth. Okay? Including altering you physically. Okay? That is the whole purpose. When Paola said we shall be changed, the mockery of that is the, 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 the whiz when the witch was dead. And they changed out of the ugliness and became beautiful again. See, they're not telling the full truth about how they do these things, people. The, in order to be with the Most High, you had to have come from Him already. This is the reason why when Rome did what they did, they said, oh, everybody comes from God. Everybody comes from the Messiah. Everybody comes from this. But it said, that's why they took out Second Ezra, but unto those who are, Adam, are like spit. That's why they, they don't talk about when the Messiah said, when you are lukewarm, he spits you out. The cold purpose of strengthening your spirit, of disconnecting your spirituality is to be spit out. Okay? Now, there are people who have made you believe that they are not spit out. And those people are now trying to do like what he said in the spirit. If you hate your brother, you have murdered him already in the spirit world, which means that they are taking, they are trying to pull you to use your power. To kill you. In the spirit world. This is why they go and they do the spirit cooking stuff that they're talking about. They're trying to kill you spiritually so you will die physically. That's the concept between the matrix where it says if you die in the matrix, you die for real. Okay? That's why anybody who comes like Abana, Abraham with the star, oh yeah, this and it came like Kusul Kump, because all of the people that the Most High sent that were spiritually powerful come with a star. And those, they watch for them. Hey, where did that one go? Where did this one go? Because um, we are brought to our people and see this is where the other people are deceived because the devil's angels masquerade as an angel of light, you think that they're also bringing uh, the same babies or same children when they're not. Okay? And the world's going to find this out. That's why you're already spiritually dead. Your frequency is cut off and you fall for everything these people are telling you. Okay? Because you don't come from the real most high. They know that. That's why salvation has to come through the Yaounde, the Bayuda, because they do. That's what he's saying. My people come from the most high. The, that's why he told, he said, I, the bread has to go to the children first. Because we come from the most high. Everybody else does not. They have to get the crumbs. Well, that's where Rome played their deception because of what happened with Simon the Sorcerer and others like him and the Sanhedrin, they're like, no, we're going to keep the bread away from the children. Let's play keep away. So they started to use the lying signs and wonders to make the people believe. That's why Paula had to say, there's many false messiahs already here. But Kepler had to say, there will be lying spirits ahead, and other and and and, and uh, that's why Tatanzami said, 
question every spirit. Well, the way they tricked us was to not question the master, to not question what they tell you. Boy, you obey what we tell you, and you don't. I don't want no sass. That got we got that from them. Okay. Because what was happening was you were being conditioned to accept what was being told to you, just like everybody else. But yet they would start to fight back because they were understanding that something was wrong. They always knew the way to stop a revolution is to pacify. How do you pacify? with all different types of eye candy. Cater to the inner beast that they already had inside. Like, why do you think they like wrestling like that? Why do you think they always want to see the boxing and beating up on people? Why do you think they want to see the contact sports like hockey and, and they want to fight and everything? Okay? These things is what they're catered to. And then, of course, to the women... They want to have that beauty. Oh, I want to look so beautiful. So they created a, a mindset of carnal beauty while they made us look ugly. Not wanting to, no, I don't want to be that, that color. I hate my skin. Because see, the problem is they don't understand to be a leper, which is what they are, modified leper, that is the first problem. You don't want to be, see, and I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna show you why it's an issue to say that we look that black people come from the creator because of what it's gonna say. Okay. So they're saying um they sleep with men. And those who fast and the rest of impurity, crime and error. So they're fasting and praying. Like you hear people say, oh, I'm going to fast. Well, it, that's why they took out the Apocalypse of Elia because it says you must be holy to fast. Well, I worship Jesus. I worship God. So I'm holy. No. The God who sent us into slavery is not the same as the God of the Christians. They've been lied to. All Rome did, like I said, is they took Sol Invictus and turned him into the God of uh, the God of creation. That's what they did. But they're not going to tell you that. Okay? And then they taught you what they wanted you to know. And then they also taught us the forbidden knowledge of the cube while they were stealing the good knowledge that Tatanzami was giving to us and then saying we were the heathens. When it was the reverse. Okay. They tricked us into helping them conquer the earth. Just like what happened in the days of Noah. By using the spells and sorcery that they were using on their own people. And then to appease and masquerade, they would kill anybody they thought was, was using it when they were hypocrites. Okay? They were doing it themselves, but they were killing anybody else. They were hypocrites. Okay? Condemnation. Okay? This is where they learned it from. That everything about condemnation comes from the dragon. That's why Kusma, that's why our this uh, Nabis were saying, hey, look, we are a family that needs to act like it. We're not here to be killing each other. That's what they do. 
oh, we got to obey the law. Yes, we have to obey the law, but you have to have what? Common sense. Hey, I'm a sinner too. Because that false spirit was already among us. Things were starting to change. Well, yeah, if you start worshiping Baal, there's a problem there. So yeah, the Most High is like, you're going to be destroyed. Okay? But the Mwanda Velala is the spirit that has to determine that. Not the carnal mind. That's why he say, when you obey the spirit, you obey the law. So if the spirit says, this person, this has to happen, then it happens. If not, okay, you don't do that. This is what was going on with our own people. They using this now, even as we speak, in the gangs, in the streets, in the hood, everything that they're doing now, out here in the open, in the public, okay? The reason why they support us and we don't is they know they get the blessing. When we when we when we're negative against one another, we curse ourselves. This is why they encourage this stuff. Okay. All right. So now he says. And those who say, now listen to this part. And those who say we are equal to the angels. They're the stars that finish everything. It has been said to the human generation, look, Tatanzami has accepted your sacrifice from the hands of the priests. No, he did not. See, that's why now they have a superiority complex. We are like the angels. We are accepted by the angels. What angels? The ones that masquerade or the ones who are real? You can't tell the difference. You better know the difference. That's what they did. They took us away from the ones that we knew and the devil flipped it. Oh, wait a minute. Are you still the same? So 2 Thessalonians has been in effect for generations. That's why they don't recognize the curses that are upon themselves because it has been hidden from their mindset through the forbidden knowledge. Oh yeah, this is how they're, they're making stuff up now. Oh yeah, the sun comes like this, the, we spinning like this, we doing, okay. While you're invoking demons that's blocking your eyesight the whole time. And then, of course, the churches have to play along because they're conditioned into this already. And so anybody who comes with the real truth, that's the devil. Oh, no, that's Satan. No, no, you have the, you're in the forbidden knowledge that you're not supposed to be doing. They're deceiving you. Okay. The promise of the seed. This is a, a apocalypse of Abana and Zingi. And the eternal mighty one said, Abana, Abana, and said, here I am, Nikohapa. Consider from above the stars which are beneath thee and the number of, of them and make known to me their number. And I said, when I, for I am but a man of dust and ashes, and said to him, as the number of the stars and the power, I will make thy seed a nation and people set apart for me inheritance with Azazel. So see, he's showing you that there is a difference between his kingdom and the devil's kingdom right there. But what the devil has done is he has hidden himself from the people that this is his kingdom. Okay? And I said, O eternal mighty one, let thy servant speak for thee, and let not thine anger kindle against thy chosen one. 
See, because he's already seen that we screwed up. We messed up. We, oh my gosh. What did we do? Lo, before thou leadest me up to the, the goat god, that's who that is, invade against me, how then well is now there that thou constituted thyself with him? Now listen. And he said to me, look, now beneath thy feet at the firmaments and understand the creation foreshadowed in this expanse, the creatures existing on it and the age prepared according to it. And I saw beneath and the sixth heaven and what was therein and then the earth and its fruits and what was moved upon it and its animate, animate beings You gotta understand that the, the, there's a when they said things look real, but they're not. Things have been altered in your sight, and the power of its men and the ungodliness of their souls and their and their righteous deeds and the lower regions and the perdition therein, the abyss and its torments, and I saw there the sea and its islands and its monsters and its fishes and leviathan and his dominion and his camping ground in his caves and the world which lay upon him and his movements and the destruction of the world on his account i saw the streams of the rising of the waters their windlings and i saw there the garden of adam and its fruits the source of the stream issuing from it and its trees there bloom, and those behave righteously. I saw therein their foods and their bless blessedness. I saw the great multitude of men and women and children, half on the right side and half of them on the left side of the picture. This is the goats and the sheep, people. <laughs> okay. So what he's saying is, he saw how the world was torn over to the hands of the wicked. You're in that right now. Okay. See, it says the fall of man and its sequel. Wait, 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 what, what? It happened again. Because we rejected the truth. The truth came out, and there were those of us who received it, and there were those of us who rejected it. But Tatanzambi always puts his people into captivity as a nation, not just individuals all the time, which there were. That's why there were scattered people among the, the, the nations already. But there was also a sequel. See, the, the world don't know that. You're in the sequel now. Okay, that's why when you go to the part that says, uh, and I'm not trying to go too long, where he talks about the judgments upon the he's wise. Now, this is why he said, Why sinners tormented in the vision of judgment and salvation? Okay, when he goes into this part here. The understanding is we, it is permitted because of the will of the Father to allow it because of the fact that he is doing in Second Ezra the world for many and then the world for the few. Okay? That's why people are running around now clueless. To this next phase. They're watching the news. They're, they're listening to these world leaders. They're listening to all their, their religious people. And they're just going along with it. And not using their common sense anymore. Because they took it from you. Long time ago.
they made it to where the same people who could see what the devil was doing became the crazy people and the people who couldn't see that the devil was doing became the same people. This is the Wizard of Oz. So when you go to try to put to, to expose him and what he is doing to people who have not come out of the spells that they are under, that's why you will sit there and they'll tell you, oh no, worshiping ancestors is demonic. It depends. If it's the ones that are cut off, yeah. If it's the ones that's not, no. Honoring them, we don't, and they're not worshiping, we're honoring what they did. Because if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't be here either. The devil makes you think that way because he don't want you to reconnect to your crown. He wants you to stay with the halo. Like I told you, you went from the crown to the halo. The world doesn't know that. You connect to your crown, you see the people with the halo. Hey, these are fallen angels here. And then you will see the people who are manipulating the people who are supposed to have a crown. Everywhere. They will tell you they're a king or a queen or whatever, and no, they still have a halo. And they have a permanent halo that ends not coming off. Okay? That's why the zombie was like, hey, you know, let's go to, uh, where's Amelia? This is Lamelia Jeremiah 29, the letters to the exile. Because this is going to be, the, this is the repeat. Donald Trump. <laughs> You think he isn't, but he is. He's whatever he is because of it, man. Let me not get into that. You got a lot of modified body. They all trying to be like the angels who are not really have a, a, a sex pertaining to them. So you got a lot, of, man. I'm telling you, you got a lot of people you think are one way and the other. They're born one way and they got changed. They got, woo. They, they did this a lot, even in ancient Egypt. As I was watching this thing when they were talking about the, the wickedness of revealing unto Egypt, which is what they, they used to do, gender modifications even then. <laughs> People don't realize this is nothing new under the sun. They did gender modifications in the days of Noka. This is nothing new. This is what the mighty phone said, all those carried into exile from Solomon to Babylon. And that's where you are now. Build houses and settle down, plant gardens and eat what they produce. This is why, let me tell you something. This is why they, they don't want you to have a farm of your own and they put you to the grocery store. Marry and have sons and daughters. Find wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage. This is why they, they, they hid your identity because they wanted you to mix. Or when you didn't mix, or what it did was they first made it into a a really bad thing. And then they said, oh, now you, it's a good, you know, that's what they do. I'll seek the place in prosperous city, which I've carried in the exile. Pray to Tatan Zambi for it, because if it prospers, you will prosper. That's why they changed the knowledge of him. And the devil took over and said, oh yeah, you're prospering in my, in the way. No, you see, by you not knowing the, the creator who sent you into captivity and you then accepting the one who was the gods of the captivity, you will now think that you are prospering in your exile when you are not. You're praying to Baal for the, okay? This is why you have the disparities of wealth in this system controlling you now. Because you can't see that. Okay, for those who set this up. 
Yes, this is what Dr. Zami Almighty and Fumo Visole says. Do not let the prophet, now listen to this. Do not let the prophets and diviners among you deceive you. Do not listen to the dreams you encourage them to have. They are prophesying lies to you in my name, and I have not sent them, declares Takanzambi. Woo! That's a big one. That's why I said to people in many of my videos, yes, the Most High has more than one son, and one he has children. But do not replace the one who never made a mistake against the Most High with people who have. Don't do it. Okay? Now, the Kuzo Kongo said, I'm not perfect. Only the Father is good. But I what? I'm going to obey my Father. And learn what he taught me to teach you. But the world has tainted this. Okay? That's why for me to come out here and talk about it, everybody hates me. That you will expose. Because there's there's one Mayamona, and there are other Mayamonas that he allowed to manifest and then there are fake mayamonas which is what means one who can see that's what that's what fake messiahs see the devil made anybody who questions the religions that he built to say no if they don't believe in nimrod in the form of jesus christ you are satan you are the, you are the devil you are this you 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 are the liar. When Jesus Christos is just another way of saying Heru, Horus, Tammuz. And the Roman, the Greek and Roman, they're wrong. They know that. Like you said, I turned you over to the Grecians. So they interpreted Kuswa Congo as Zeus. Oh, this is like Zeus. That's like they said when, when you talk about what happened when Paula went, oh, this is Apollo. This is, he said, no. There's a Messiah that's better than me. So when that scripture, when they talk about it, they didn't stop doing that. Oh, this is our God. This... They lied. Oh, Sol Invictus. No, this is not Sol Invictus, stupid. <laughs> okay, this is what they were telling them. No, this is not Sol Invictus. Oh, Sol Invictus has come down to... No. Okay? Don't worship the sun. Okay? That's why... Um, our people... Got tricked into worshiping the sun again. And the moon. And you're not supposed to do that. That's why now those gods have the power to keep the lying signs and wonders going and the delusion in your head going. And anybody who wants to lift the delusion is Satan. No, that dude's satanic. He's going to, no, I'm opening, we're opening your eyes. Oh, no, that's illegal. No, they opened it. Your eye was open illegal already. Because you have sorcerers out there that are doing this. They're leaving their body and they're coming back and they're putting spells on you. And they're trying to get back to their body. Okay. What is it called? Um, neck, um, the the, the tokra did the, the thing. Starts with an A. Uh, Something trans um something transfer. I forget the name now. Um 
Hold on, let me see if I can remember what they what it was called. Astral projection. That's it. Astral projection. Where the sorcerer will leave his body to go and then try to get back. This is why you they have them all over. Okay. Then you have the people who are not actually real doing the same stuff. Okay. But then when you say that, oh, this guy's crazy. Everybody's a real human being. No. <laughs> That's going to be when, when Tatan Zombie breaks the spell. Let's go to, well, first of all, let's go to something about Hanak. This is 107. They, they will beget on the earth giants, not of spirit, but of flesh, and they will break wrath on the earth. This happened again. You just don't see them. And the earth will be cleansed of all corruption. And now make known to your son, Lameka, the one who has been born is truly son. Call his name Noah for the remnant of your Wanoka. And he, his son will be saved from the destruction that is coming to the earth because of the sin and all iniquity, which will be committed on the earth in his day. But after this, listen, there will be greater iniquity that which was committed on the earth before. Now... <laughs> They have masqueraded this as civilization. Oh, we're in a civilization now. We're no. You're doing worse now than before. But because religion has blinded you, you don't even know it. But after this, there will be yet greater iniquity than that which was committed on the earth before. For I know the mysteries of the Holy One. For and Fumu Yahweh showed them to me and made them known to me, and I read them to the table in, in the tables, tablets of heaven. See, the commandments were in the heaven, not just here on earth. And I saw written on them the generation upon generation will do wrong until a generation of righteousness shall rise and the wrongdoing shall be destroyed. That's where we are now. The generation of righteousness is starting to rise and the wrongdoing shall be destroyed and sin shall depart from the earth and everything shall good shall come upon it and know my son go make known to your son the mecca that his child was born is truly his son and this is no lie because he's, he came out looking like the fallen angels who got turned you know okay now let's see if i can go to yeah i wanted to read this i hope it stayed there now pay attention to this. This is verse 44. This is why they have a problem saying that the Mosai is black. Forty-four. Mukahana. The Tatan zombie with his hands, having created Muntu in the likeness of his own face. Tatan zombie made him small and great. That's why I told you Adama and Kuswa Congo, they look the same. <laughs> Nimrod, they had to make Nimrod look like Adama to convince the people that he was the Messiah. He didn't look like it. They weren't the same. That's why shapeshifters can do, oh boy, they can do some things. But now it says, whoever reviles the ruler's face and abhors Tatanzambi's face has despised Tatanzambi's face. 
and he who vents anger on any man without injury, that the zombie's great anger will cut him down. He who spits on the face of a moon to reproachfully will be cut down in Tatanzami's great judgment. This is why they spit on us. <laughs> they used to spit on us, remember? Okay. Let me see if I can get to the where. Let's see if I can find it. I don't know, this version I pulled up. Let's go to where he talks about. And I'll be done with this. Because I know I went too long that I wanted to. Okay. The order and ranks of the angels. I'm going to go over this again. The Malikis are the first heaven. Remember, they're not the same level. Not all angels are the same. They lied about that. Whenever they see their prince, they dismount from their horses and fall on their faces. Now, I'm sure that this is an interpretation because of the fact that they're going to always say, well, this is not always about an animal, but a chariot involved with this, what's, car what's carrying them. And the prince of the first head, when he sees the prince of the second, he dismounts, removes his crown of glory and falls on his face. And the prince of the second heaven, when he sees the prince of the third heaven, he removes his crown. Okay? So what they're saying is the Malikis have a hierarchy. And this is exactly how, like we talked about the prayers. When you are, because this is where Micaiah plays his role. Micaiah and Zombie, Mikaeli, he plays the role in determining whether or not your prayer goes to the Most High or not, based upon your spirit. Okay? If you're not Kongo, your prayer is not going to Kongo. It's going to the imposter. That's why we told people, Tatanzambi said, your, your spirit must be right with the Most High. Because there's a fabrication. So they may receive, like, I, like it says in the gospel that I read about Lamelia Jeremiah, they may have received a vision, but it didn't come from the Most High. But they're going to tell you it did. Okay? This is something that I found out interacting with, 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 with Yusuf. That's why we as Banabetu, Bakongo, Benanzambi, have to be careful of the people who call themselves Ngunza all over Africa, not just, I'm not talking about any one specific person, or Ganganzambi in Africa, because I know for a fact that I was interacting with a certain person um, on Facebook who was trying to convince me of certain things and I was like I know this is wrong because of the revelations that I've already had and see that's why Tatanzambi said 2nd Thessalonians has already in place in the kingdom of Congo right now in, in Congo de Totila. Because that many of these ingunzas don't tell you that they actually made deals with demons. That they're tricking you to, to, to believe something. And that's why when Kuswa Kongo said there will be many false messiahs, Simon Tokwa said the same thing. Hey, there are going to be people saying some lies here. 
Simon Kimbangu said the same thing. Okay? Because there are those who are chosen to teach the truth, and then there are those who were not chosen, and they're being used to mislead the sheep more. Taking you in a direction that, because see, you have to understand, no ancestor of the Banabetu Bakongo will ever go against what the Most High says, or they will lose their positions or get thrown into prison in his kingdom for disobedience. Hanukkah said that. If a star doesn't do what they're supposed to, he's going to put you into prison. If the Most High has decreed, I am not accepting this anymore, The, the his kingdom's not going to go against him and say, yeah, we're going to accept it. No, you're being set up by a, a sorcerer doing some of these things. Because Tatanzambi is the one that makes the ultimate decision of his kingdom. Now, does he change? No. But he can say, my law was fulfilled. So this is what I'm accepting now, and this is what I'm not accepting now. Because you don't even know the reason why he gave the law in the first place. That's why Kuso Kongo got mad that the Gentiles figured it out when we didn't. And now they stole it. Because there's still people who didn't agree. And they're still being misled by false spirits. You don't have to be coming out of religion to still go to where the, de the devil is in all things wicked, not just religion, okay? The Most High also sent it, okay? To mess your head up to say, hey, you didn't, you didn't ask me. So now here you go. You can put curses upon yourself and you're now you gotta go back and, and repent. Oh, I didn't know, oh man, okay? That's why, you know, you have a level of power. To be an archangel is the highest level of the Malikis, meaning they are with Nzambi. They are with Congo. They are with the Most High, Okay. When we go to real quick the apocalypse of of, of Kepa, of of of, of, of um, Paula. We're not going to get into Methuselah today. Uh, where did it go? Okay. This is what it says about Michael. It says, "But when those who were in the same place saw me weeping with the with the Maliki." No more crying there. We're going to see the king, right? No. The Pemba Kalunga is upset that we left the Most High. And you're going to find that out when you get there. I recently had a, past, a death in my family. She's going to learn some things that many of our people don't know. Wait a minute. What? This is it. You're going to find out that they lied to us. They've been lying to us for years. You're going to go see the God that sent you into captivity. And he's going to show you, hey, this, is, this stuff was the devil. That's why they got to go have these people that they control making up stories about heaven when the devil has a fake heaven. Man, I'm telling you. Okay. And wept, Tatanzami, have mercy upon us. And after these things, I saw the heavens open, the Pembe Kalunga, the Kalunga. And Mikael, the archangel descending from heaven with him was the whole army. And they came to those who were placed in punishment and seeing him again weeping. They cried out and said, have pity upon us. Mikael, the archangel, have pity upon us and on the human race. 
for on the account of thy prayers, the earth standeth. Bam. When, my, that's why when, when, uh, when, when uh, Daniel said, when Prince Michael stands up, what it's saying is, when Michaele stops praying, boom, the earth is done. <laughs> okay? That's what they're not telling you. Mike, I urge have pity upon us. We know, see, we now see the judgment and acknowledge the Benan zombie. It was impossible for us before these things to pray for this before we entered into this place. For we heard that there was a judgment before we went out of the world, but in impediments of life, okay, of the world did not allow us to repent. But impediments in the life of the world did not allow us to repent. What is he telling you? You cannot repent if you are in the spirit of the God of this world, whether you know it or not. You cannot be a Mozungu, a Kadiampemba, a Mundeli, okay, and repent in the spirit of Baal. No. The religions are deceiving you. You cannot pray to Nimrod and be forgiven. And Michael answered, Michaeli answered, Here, Michaeli speaking, I am he who stands in the sight of Tatanzambi every hour. As Tatanzambi liveth, in Fumuyus, who, who, who sight I stand, I do not intermit one day or night praying incessantly for the human race, but I indeed pray for those who are on the earth, but they do not cease doing iniquity and fornications, and they do not bring to me any good while they are placed on earth. Why? Because the creator said, I turn the world over to the hands of the wicked. That is why the time had to come, like it says in the book of Hanok, that a righteous generation must now rise up. You see, <laughs> our people are truly destroyed for lack of knowledge and so is the whole earth because they are learning the forbidden knowledge of the emerald city that they cannot see with Santa Claus at the North Pole. They don't even know what that is. That Admiral Byrd was talking about. Oh yeah, I saw this in the city that he saw it. Then they kill him. You can't tell people you saw the Emerald City. The North Pole is the center of the earth. Where all of the devil's lying signs and wonders goes out. And then on the South Pole, they got the one locked up. Because there's more than one. He's the one that can't come out. Antarctica, okay? And then of course the land that you can't see, the date that's beyond the river, the thing. I'm telling you people, that's why when the dude flipped out and said, there's no ice in 1570 at the North Pole. No, there wasn't. I read the book of Hanak where it says, and in the book of Yobe, that that was a, what? Judgment upon the heathens. But you let the Wizard of Oz keep telling you about ice ages and this. Oh, man. Stupidness. That's why he, the, the angel Yaya Congo, Yakongo told, it was, Mika, it was really Mikaeli, you know. He told Abana, 
don't listen to this goat God. He will control you. That's the reason why you must pay attention closely to the messages you receive, who's talking to you, what the agenda behind the message is, and who do they follow? Who are they with? Because Jeremiah, let me tell you what, this scripture right here, Lamelia 29, 8 and 9 is happening everywhere. And I'm going to say everywhere. In the churches, in the awakening, in the uh, other religions. It's a mess. Now Tatan Zombie's coming to clean it up. This is what the shaking is. He's coming to clean up the brood of vipers that keep misleading the sheep and devouring us literally. I'm going to just say it like that. Somebody put a picture up. There, I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> they, they mock the Messiah and they eat the sheep. Spirit, spirit, physically and <laughs> yeah. The world's going to be deceived. What they doing? Because they are devouring the sheep. And making you think there's replacements. <laughs> You're going to be shocked, people. This world is not what you think it is. But people like me, oh no, that dude's crazy. He, Lulu. They, they do it all the time. They did that to the, they did that in the days of Noah. Hey, these Looney Tunes, lee, lee, they, they're going to happen. Lee, lee, that Matus and Nook, they Looney Tunes. No, no. Okay. Anyway, Zola Quingi and Sambololo, you know, where's the Yabe Congo Kutwala? And like I said, people, it, it, we're here. If you ain't seeing it, man, I'm going to tell you. These people out here, they everything is happening every single day, and they just like doop de doop de doo. Okay, doop de doop de doo. That's why Paolo said, "Those who are not meant to perish, we will know." And then you got people out here in the brainwashed Christian mindset. Oh, no one knows the day or the hour. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Okay, Noah had to know something to build the ark and put the animals in it. Hello. He had to be taught something to prepare, okay? Oh, I just got to know Jesus Christ and he's going to take care of everything. The creator's looking at you like, are you stupid or what? He didn't even say that. Go read it carefully. Oh, Jesus got everything on the cover. Jesus going to take care of everything. No, he did not say that. He said, I am going to put you into tribulation for those of you who don't change. Yeah, he did say that. And now you're in it. But they're going to hide it. Oh, this is the thing. This is, oh, we doing this. That. Oh, tornado here. You don't even know. You he been, They've been doing this a while now. Oh, it's just the weather and, oh, earthquake, the, the, the crust displacement and a bunch of bull crap. Scientists are deceived. Strong delusion. Big time. Oh, this is the, the solar flare. and the... I look at them and say, oh, that zombie. Oh, yo, yo. Demon lie. Because they are controlled by the puppet master to tell you what they taught you. And they're not going to deviate from that. 
So all I'm going to say, we're here and it's happening and it's going to get worse, not better. And they already talking like that. They want you to feel comfortable. Just like that's what the Messiah meant when he said, and like the days of Noah, people will just do it, just chilling, hanging out. Yeah, we we kicking back. We doing, oh, yeah, what's up, my boy? We, everything good? All of a sudden, what the heck? The water, woo, we run, booking it. <laughs> Just like that. Woo, the water's coming everywhere, booking it. Oh, they were getting ready to get married. There's a wall of water coming. Ah! Just like that. It's not, you ain't going to see it coming, people. They won't know. And I told you the fallen angels knew the Mosai wasn't lying when he said he was going to bring, the Mosai don't lie. So they were trying to figure out how to how to uh, defeat it. And they lost. Just like now. They know the Mosai ain't lying with this fire and some more water coming. They, they know he ain't lying. But they're going to make you think he lying with what they did. You already are Cain, stupid and deceived. Oh, I don't know. what they, I believe everything the pastor tell me. No, he's, he's working for Cain. You don't know. I believe everything these politicians telling me. They working for Cain, yo. They the Cain speak, man. These military people, they were they they the army of Cain, the repeat, all of them, U.S. included army. That's why they, they, they the McCain army. <laughs> why you think he was in the? They use him as an example. You in Cain's army, people. This man's army, yeah, Cain. You're in the spiritual Cain army all over the earth. The Most High's army does not fight like Cain. You're going to find out. No, not even a little bit. All right. Zola Kringi, Sambalono, Ina Wizi, Yavikongo, Kutwala, Ingita.